All right, this is the Tuesday session. We are going to start with the long tones as we always do, but today we're going to do all of them in half notes instead of in whole notes. We're going to do them in half notes instead of in whole notes. F descending twice. We'll play concert F descending twice. Brass, you're going to play the first time on your mouthpiece, and then the second time switch to your instrument. Uh, woodwinds, you're just played on your instrument both times. F descending. Second, brass, put your mouthpieces back in. Pause it if you need to. Tubas sometimes to get your instrument in your lap. And we go back around the band one more time, this time on the instrument. Straight down the page in the long tones, all four of them, one A, one B, one C, one D, and one, two, half notes. me fighting with the pitch this reed wants to play sharp in the low register on my instrument so I'm having to really bend those down. All right one C same idea and one two one C and
once again, if you're starting to get tired, pause for 30 seconds, literally 30 seconds, and then go off. One, two, one, B, and... Okay, that's the end of our long tone sequence, then we'll go on to our warm-up sets. On Tuesday's woodwinds, we're going to slur to tongue two on all of them, on set one option four and on set three option four. We're gonna to slur to tongue two. So da 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 right? Uh, brass, you change nothing. It stays the same for you every single time. And one, two.
Tuesday sequence for scales is going to be the same as yesterday, just with the metronome set a little bit faster. So this is you know, concert B-flat scale. Do the same thing each time. Uh, play the scale in the, the slow melodic version, and then if you want to pause the video and then do a couple more versions on your own, do that. B-flat, page 10. One, two, one, and two, and ready. <laughs> Here, do double octaves or faster as if you want to. This is page 28, E flat, E flat, and one, two, ready. Okay. Woodwinds, this is where you can go. Concert F, concert F. So turn to concert F, pause if you need to. And here's the concert F major scale. One, two, ready. Same idea, double octaves, faster or slower, however you want. And, um, oh, and yeah, okay. And then the articulation drill you should have already done. So now we're good to go on to your Tuesday lesson. One, two, ready. <laughs> This is Conquering Hero. This is the A part, or the first part, if you want to think of it like that. One, two, three, and... Now just playing through something one time doesn't mean you know it, so we need to practice it a couple more times. So we're going to do this at least two more times. If you want to do it more times after this, then go ahead and do it more times after this. One, two, three, and... <sighs> the only thing that should give you any trouble is the first measure and the last or the second to last measure because the dotted quarter note right and one of the weird things about it is we're very used to seeing dotted quarter notes on count one not so much count three scales one three take give three pulses three take you can even do it when you're playing right just give it three little breath impulses there and that helps hook it up On the second half of Conquering Hero, it's the same idea. Uh, the only thing you got to worry about are those two dotted quarter note, eighth note passages you have. First measure and the seventh measure, right? Uh, make sure that you're thinking uh, the key signature. So uh, flutes and low brass, 
A percussion, A naturals, A naturals, not A flats. And then clarinets and trumpets and tenor saxes, B naturals, middle finger, okay? Um, not, not, not B flats. And then alto and very saxes, uh, F sharps, middle fingers. And then horns, finally, E naturals. Okay, here we go. Second, uh, second part of Conquering Hero. All right, so if you need to practice those a couple more times, you can do that um, as many times as you need to, but you should be able to record this one today. Give that a shot. And then, again, submit it through Seesaw. I don't care if the videos are horizontal or, or, or vertical, by the way. You can make that choice yourself. Have some fun with that.